my plan was to go flying here but uh it's so dead calm right now but it suddenly gusts up to oh probably only seven or eight mile an hour maybe ten but with an ultralight that makes a big difference especially coming over those trees that those trees run right along the edge of the runway and i don't care how calm it is you're getting bounced around when you come in so when you have gusts or a little bit of a breeze coming over those trees it every landing's a little bit challenging like right now it's just bouncing my door around and the flag's sticking out oh pretty straight if you can see it out there when I was flying on Thursday I uh, I was observing my ailerons were up when I was in straight and level flight. My ailerons were just like maybe right there, three eighths of an inch or so up from the rest of the wing. And of course, right about there is where they're rigged, both sides, when they're sitting on the ground here, both sides. Can you see that? Let me see if I can. There, you can see it's hanging down slightly there. Both sides are down. And uh, so I need to let them come down, be held down a little further. So um, what pulls them down is your carry through up on top. So watch, can you see this moving? I guess you can't really see it from here. So I'm just gonna put a little tension on this because I got some slack. If I didn't have a little bit of slack here, what I would do is I would go underneath and and uh, loosen up these two turnbuckles just maybe a quarter of a turn or even an eighth of a turn on each side. And then I'd go up and tighten the carry through uh, to get the... Uh, to get them to uh, stay straight whenever you've got you know the air pressure on them when you're in flight well my paper towel got blown off the windshield so now I'm working blind let me see if I can go by feel see which way yeah that's tightening but you got to hold both ends of the turnbuckle make sure uh, one of them's not turning and the other sides just rolling Cables rolling. You go ahead and it, that's maybe a half a turn and it's snugged right up. And you can put quite a bit of tension on it, so don't don't overdo it. Yeah, I'm a good three quarters of an inch down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there though and safety wire it. So it's fairly taunt now and uh, safety and it's all ready to go. I got her all fueled up, five gallons in it. I don't know if you can see that windsock out there, but it'll go down flat and then suddenly bounce straight out, and it's always coming across the trees. So I've had too many wrecks, you know, been blown out of the air and bounced around too much. I think uh, I'll just forego flying tonight.